Assalamualaikum, welcome back to video number 3 Ok, just now we have done cash and carry arbitrage model But we have one more model known as reverse cash and carry arbitrage Ok, anak-anak If you can recall just now what we have done All, all the situations happened uh, overvalued Ok, so bila overvalued What does it mean? Futures contract mahal So we sell futures contract And we will, we will buy real physical CPO simultaneously But what if? Huh? What if undervalued situation happens? Ok, undervalued situation happens When the fair value alright, of the futures contract Is lower than the market price Alright, market price murah, harga sebenar mahal. So, when the market price or the actual price, alright, traded uh, is lower, what does it mean? We should buy or we will buy futures contract and simultaneously today we will sell physical CPO. So, if you want to, alright, recall the first example I told you just now, we, we discussed just now, so what will happen if it is of undervalued? We will buy here. Okay, there is no problem here. We can buy. Oh, the MDEX is the old name for Bursa Malaysia Derivative Berhad. Okay, you should change to Bursa Malaysia Derivative Berhad. Previously, they panggil Malaysian Derivative Exchange. But now, Bursa Malaysia Derivative Berhad. Okay, fine. Okay, since we buy futures contract here, simultaneously, we will sell the physical CPO here. But the problem is, okay, see, wait. The problem is here. Okay, why? Because you are only arbitrager. You are not the real owner of CPO. When you are not real owner of CPO, you don't have the CPO to be sold. You cannot sell something you do not own. Alright, we cannot sell something we do not own. We cannot something. Uh, we cannot sell uh, CPO that belongs to someone else because why? Short selling is prohibited in cash market. Okay, so if undervalued contract happens, no arbitrage can be done. So as far as as far as I'm concerned, okay, there will be no undervalued situation. Alright, dalam soalan exam ke test ke, alright, there will always be overvalued situation. But let's say you have calculated correctly, properly, and you still get undervalued situation. You, you look at the marks given. Kalau markah dia setakat 2-3 markah, confirm tak, tak ada arbitrage boleh buat. Tapi kalau markah given is 10 to 15%, meaning to say, alright, you have calculated it uh, wrong, alright. You have to make sure that the value is overvalued. overvalued. Only in overvalued situation, we can proceed with arbitrage, okay. So, in the case of undervalued, once again, Alright, no arbitrage can be done. Sebab apa? Problem di sini. We cannot sell something kita tak ada. There's no problem here in the futures market. Something about futures, futures market, you you can either buy or you can either sell. Because we are dealing with contract only. We are not dealing with real instrument. Okay? Alright. So, next let's do uh, one question. Okay. Uh, this is June 2018, question 3B. It is mid-May. So, kalau mid je, terus tanam dalam kepala, it is on the 50th of May. Alright? Uh, the dealer believes there is opportunity to do arbitrage between FCPO and physical CPO and willing to take how many tons? 2,500 2, tons for his arbitraging activity. So, today is mid-May. The spot price given, 2,250. And then, two futures contracts are given to you. So, which one of these two futures contracts that, will you, that you will use to do arbitrage? Ingat pesan saya, baca soalan sampai habis. And then also given to you the dividend yield. Dividend yield tak ada kaitan dengan kita. Ignore it. Alright. And then what is important is the borrowing rate 4.5% per annum and the storage cost per month per ton. 20 ringgit. You times with 12 months because I want the storage cost the storage cost per year. Alright. So so let's take, uh, let's take a look. At the last one, dia kata apa? Determine whether the July. So, August tak ada kaitan, boleh potong. Alright? Only July FCPO. Sebab the question is whether the July FCPO is fairly priced or not and create the arbitrage strategy. And finally, calculate the profit from the strategy undertaken. Okay? Alright, so let's take a look at the answer. How to calculate? First, we will start with fair value. Ha, first and foremost, we have to calculate the T. 
Before you can calculate fair value, calculate the number of days to maturity. So, write down May. May bermula 15 sampai 31. So, 17 days all together. Why 17 days? Include, you have to include 15 hari bulan. Tak, percaya kira guna jari you. 15, 16 sampai 31. 17 days. And then June, the total month 30 days. And July, of course, maturity 15 hari bulan. So, it stop at uh, day 15. So, the number, total number of days is 62 days. Sambil-sambil tu, kira terus number of contract, 2,500 over 25, you get 100 contracts. And then, barulah kita masuk dalam formula belaka ni. Alright, so you will get how much? 2,308. Compare with the market price, again, you will get overpriced. Therefore, we should sell July FCPO and buy FCPO, uh, physical F uh, CPO today simultaneously. Alright, okay, you come up with the outline, put everything there, write properly, you buy and you sell. Alright, and then just uh, redo the same uh, solution here hold the 2500 ton of cpo and then deliver all right to the through the clearing house for cash and these are the solution okay all right okay the solution first is the revenue from selling the futures contract all right 100 contract times 25 then 230 you get 5.825 million in the cash market first and foremost the cost of purchase Alright, 5.625 million outflow and then, okay, the interest expenses, okay, because you borrow this amount, you will be charged with 0 0.045 uh, interest times 62, 62 days, you get the this amount of interest expenses and finally, the cost of storage, this is per year punya, times 2,500 tons times 62 days over 365, this is the amount of cost of storage, so that would be your final answer. Okay, please recheck. Kalau salah, tolong inform saya later on. And please do one more past year question which is June 2016 and we will share the answer later on. Okay, that's all from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.